Hi, uh, I'm Seth. I'm going to talk about a tool we built to support our analytics work at the New York City Department of Transportation. So first, for some context, my team is responsible for the analysis and data products related to transportation safety um, for the department. And our work spans from requests that need to be answered in a few minutes to research projects that take months. And while we do maintain a number of core databases, both in Postgres and SQL Server, the bulk of our work requires analyzing uh, how external data sets relate to our data. And so we spend a lot of time doing ETL work, and every analyst was doing it their own way, which made coordination and duplication very challenging. So we cobbled together our most common workflows and built a simple Python library to standardize and simplify our work. Uh, we wanted something that would be a easy way to handle all of our data I.O. between the various data sets and our databases, um, handle the common errors, and keep all of our workflow together in a single executable Python file. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that we were organized and keeping our database clean. Um, since we get a lot of requests, our database was filling up with a lot of garbage. So just to go through what this looks like uh, with some basic examples, importing data is pretty simple. You're just defining the file type and passing in the path. Exporting is pretty much the same thing. You're passing in a table or a query and where you want it to go. Essentially, we're just writing the GDAL commands here, but we're adding a little bit on top. So, for example, when you import data, it does some standardization and cleaning of column names. If you're coming from an Excel or CSV, it will um, do some inference on the data types to create a slightly cleaner table. Um, if you're exporting to a shapefile, it checks for timestamps and will split it into date and time so you don't lose any data. And if you're writing to a database, it will add a comment describing where the data came from, a little bit of metadata. Um, the other thing that it does is any table that is created or imported via this library will by default be added to a log for automatic deletion after a set period of time, which of course is configurable. Uh, so for cleaning or processing your data, you can do it in Python. So here we're using an API to reverse geocode some data and send it back to the database. Um, or you can do it just in plain SQL. And the benefit of using this for your SQL as opposed to say PG admin it's mostly just to keep your workflow together, so you have to rerun everything. You're not missing any steps. But also, if you create a table or rename a table, it will update the log, and uh, it will rename any associated indexes for consistency. Uh, analysis, of course, you can do it in SQL again, or you can tell it to return your data as a Python list or a pandas data frame, which is really useful if you want to send it on to be operationalized or to a machine learning model, or if you just want to do some visualization. Um, and then we also added a function to send queries to Plotly to generate basic coropolis, which has been really useful for our exploratory analysis. Then when you're done, you can drop everything you've done at the end of your session, um, which if you're done, you don't need anymore. That's very nice. If not, next time you connect to the database, it, it will check the log for any tables that you've created and drop any that have expired. So just to wrap up, this is a very simple uh, library, but it's been really useful for us in making things move faster, more efficient, everything's uh, clean and consistent, and collaboration has become very easy. And then it has kept our database from being cluttered with uh, old data sets that are not needed anymore. Thank you.